How would you feel if people arrested for domestic violence had to register like sex offenders do? Arrested doesn't mean convicted. Surely you meant convicted, right? I totally disagree with it. As a defense attorney, I've seen a lot of the registration system. It is already so flawed. There are so many people on it that absolutely should not have to register. Fun fact, you do not have to be convicted of a registrable offense to be required to register, at least in my state, which is a fairly liberal state, if you are charged with a crime that requires registration, and are found guilty of anything coming from that set of circumstances, you register. Even if found not guilty by a jury for that offense. And it is much, much, much easier Han you would think to be charged with a registrable offense than you would think. The predatory offender lists are very watered down with non-predators. Once you register, it's incredibly difficult to turn your life around. Dot. No one will hire you, you can't go to college, and registration is complex, especially for poor, uneducated people, that violation incredibly likely, even if you're not actively avoiding registration. It's not fixing the root cause. The root cause is a, well people stay out of fear, dependence on the abuser, inability to recognize abuse, disability, lack of resources, low self-esteem. Basically you could end domestic abuse entirely if you empowered abusers financially and with mental health care. But mental health care is bananas expensive and having to work 60 hours per week if you don't already to try and get back on your feet, or being homeless, is a huge disincentive. We live in a society that puts those people in the situation where they cannot seek help or get out because they lack the resources to do so, and until you fix that, everything else is a band-aid. The sex offender registry has been a civil rights disaster. It's time for it to go, not to expand it. So I'd be totally opposed. Anytime you think you've got a group of people that is so bad you can do whatever you want to them, take a step back. I'm immediately suspicious of any initiative that has no other purpose besides publicizing bad things someone has done, or even just allegedly done, to make them a pariah. Because God knows if there's anything we needed more of, it's witch hunts. The law exists to curb mankind's beep nature, not indulge it. Not a fan of the sex offender registry. The problem with systems like that is officials will always follow the law exactly. So the sex offender lists are filled with men who were 17 and banging their 16-year-old girlfriend. Today, they can't live near schools, and they get harassed by neighbors if they move into any neighborhood. Recently had a flyer in our mailbox about a neighbor being a dangerous sex offender. Looked up his past, 16 years old, making out with his girlfriend of the same age, now labeled for life. Neighbors all wanted him gone, even though most of them had sex at the same age. They won't listen to reason, and social media is exploding with outrage. So now imagine domestic violence. Women strikes her husband, he hits back, he goes in registry. Invariably men, not women, go on these lists because they are the threat. I think being arrested, convicted, and serving your time is enough unless you killed someone. I don't see a need for us to brand people virtually or literally. Like it's a beep idea. The sex offender list is also a beep stupid idea that's broken as hell. Half the people on it were minors beep other minors who had pissed off parents and similar stupid beep that nobody should rightly care about but the people involved. What's with everyone's obsession with making lists and putting people on them? My opinion is no, not with the current system. Not even sure what this list is supposed to tell me. This man slash woman hits people? Every day I commute on Houston freeways I feel like everyone is already on this list. I am not sure why one would need this. How is this list supposed to help the victims? You can look up convictions on people you are about to date. Unpopular opinion, but if our justice system actually went through some major reforms, I'd be all for it. Especially if there was a way to also list repeat offenders. Think of how many people who get out of abusive relationships end up in another one. Think of how many of them could potentially be able to steer clear. I think there would have to be some nuance to it, but I'd be all for it. Plenty of people in positions of authority, including cops, have been repeatedly charged for domestic violence. I can't help but think they might not be in those positions if there was a registry like that. I'm for the abolition of the SORNA and this as well. Those lists don't prevent crime. A rehabilitative approach to crime does. 
This has been shown in statistics from the criminal justice system and the Pew Foundation. Google recidivism rates for specific crimes. Ex-felons are a large legally discriminated against group of people in the country. All these lists do is contribute to re-offense and further stigmatize people with undiagnosed mental health issues, poverty issues and addiction issues. There's also a lot of research that suggests that a rehabilitative approach is cheaper for taxpayers and would improve the productivity base of the economy, but that doesn't put federal money in contractors that build prisons, companies that exploit incarcerated people and their families, or law enforcement agencies. We actually have this in the UK. I can't remember what it's called, Laura's Law or something similar. Women can call the police and quote the law and the police will answer whether the person in question has anything in their record relating to domestic violence with a yes or no and no further information. It was brought in after the death of a woman through domestic violence to a man who was known to be a serial abuser but his background was protected so she could not be warned edit, Claire's Law. EDIT2 I should clarify that Claire's law can be invoked by men who are concerned about their welfare in this regard as well, rather than just women. As a European, I feel that we left pillories behind us in the Middle Ages and they can stay there. Against. You've done your time, why should you be on a list that is going to further stymie your life? If you are so dangerous that you need to be on a list and prevented from owning a firearm, not being allowed to live near a park or a school, not being allowed to have certain jobs, then why are you not still in prison? You do your crime, you get out of prison and that should be the end of it. No lists, no felony status, none of it. If there is a real fear that you are going to re-offend, then you shouldn't be released from prison. What your past crime was should only matter when it comes to sentencing you if you have re-offended. My sister was beaten badly by her husband after he did some hard drugs and was already drunk. He served his time, but he's a felon. So he's not going to get much better than a job washing dishes, he's also a high school dropout and my sister allowed him to not work for the bulk of their marriage at minimum wage. How the hell is he supposed to stand on his own two feet when he's got that felony status, he has to pay his PO every time he see him, and is required to meet with him once a month, pay for his own drug testing, pay for his own alcohol testing, pay restitution for his crime, pay child support for two children, though one is now 19, so I guess it's one child now, and then pay for things like rent, food, utilities and such. Creating a domestic violence registry doesn't do any good in this case but to further keep him down. So where does someone like my sister's husband go? In our current system, his only option is going to re-offend and go back to prison. Prison sucks, but at least there he will have a job to do, he will have a roof over his head, three meals. Dot. The system is designed to get people like him to fail. I don't like my sister's husband, never did, and I don't like having to advocate for that son of a beep, but we need to allow people to rise above their mistakes and live a positive life. This system of people being felons for life, of registries that only hurt offenders, doesn't have any positive benefits for society, just continue to punish those who have served their time. I think registering for anything after serving your sentence is beep. If someone is so much a threat they can't be within a certain area or has a high chance of repeating, don't let them out of prison in the first place. Once you've done the time, having a scarlet letter that follows you around the rest of your life should be unconstitutional. That's a horrible idea. I think nobody would ever marry a cop again. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.